Today we're going to be building a guitar stand that holds six guitars using only a quarter sheet of MDF or plywood. First, I stuck the template to a sheet of MDF. I used an adhesive back vinyl for this, but you could also use a paper template and spray adhesive. I rough cut everything using a straight edge and a circular saw, then followed it up with a jigsaw. Then I used a hole saw bit in my drill to drill out the holes for the neck rest. I drilled most of the way through on one side and finished it up on the other side for a cleaner hole that doesn't need as much finishing sanding. I moved over to the bandsaw and cut everything down just outside the line. It doesn't have to be perfect because everything that needs to be symmetrical will be sanded down together. I removed the template at this point because the vinyl doesn't sand down very well, but if you're using a paper template you can leave it on if you want. Now you're going to start sanding everything down, making sure to sand the matching pieces together. Next, take the upright piece and the longer leg line up the angles and screw them together. Then fit the shorter leg piece behind the upright and screw those together. Repeat this for the other leg, making sure that you do it mirrored so the shorter leg pieces will be facing each other on the inside of the guitar stand. I marked a straight line from the circles on the neck rest to the front of the board, got my jigsaw, and cut out the neck rest holes. I sanded down the inside of the neck rest and just a little on the edges to soften it up a bit. Next I put the neck rest piece on the table and stood the legs up next to it. I lined up the neck rest piece where I thought it looked best. I clamped the neck rest in place with the upright, pre-drilled and screwed them together. I did the same for the other side. I then eyeballed where to put the front support for the guitar bodies, marked the drill holes and removed the feet so that these screws would be hidden. I also removed the neck rest piece so I could line up the two uprights and drill them together. Screw the body rest piece in from both sides. I used some fence boards to rest this on because my portable table is shorter than the guitar stand. Screw the neck rest back on. I screwed the legs back on just to see where they line up with the back piece that the guitar body will sit on. I did the same thing here that I did with the uprights. Line it up, mark it, disassemble, drill the holes, screw the body rest piece on, and reassemble the whole thing. Then I sanded everything down, making sure the corners and rounded edges all look smooth and even. I could have stopped there, but I wanted to paint it and add some padding for the guitars. I used a paint called Blackout and put about three coats on. Then I got some foam tape from Amazon that is three quarters inch thick, so that it's the same thickness as the MDF. I put the foam on both of the body rest pieces and each of the neck pockets. I did them a little longer so I could trim them down with a razor.
after that, it's done. This is a really simple project and I love the way it came out. It's really sturdy and it's cheap. I have a PDF template over on my website, rookiediy.com. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.